I just made these animations in less than five minutes using Hera AI. It used to take hours, sometimes even days, to make animations like these manually using apps like After Effects. But, like with everything nowadays, AI has saved me a ton of time. Plus, Hera makes it so that you can make insane animations without needing any editing experience. And I'm not talking about basic text fades. These are animations you'd expect to see in professional advertising or high-end explainer videos. Here's exactly what Hera is and how I tested it out. I like to compare Hera to ChatGPT because it really is that simple. You tell it what you want and it builds the animation for you. Not by throwing random movements together, but by making deliberate design choices that match the style you describe. Once you're signed up and logged in, you'll see that the interface is clean and straightforward. There's an Explore tab where you can see projects made by other users, from corporate presentations to event countdowns to animated product showcases. You can click into them for inspiration or skip straight to creating your own. When you click on the Create button, you'll see this prompt box at the bottom. You type what you want. You can upload reference images if you're aiming for a specific style, drop in an SVG logo for brand consistency, or even upload a CSV file if you want to animate actual data like charts or timelines. You set the duration anywhere from a quick five-second clip to a full minute. You choose the aspect ratio for vertical, square, or widescreen. You can change the background color instantly. Once the animation is generated, you can still move elements, swap icons, or tweak text without starting over. For my first test, I asked Hera for a 15-second widescreen sports highlight intro in the style of a live TV broadcast, with dramatic lighting and bold scoreboard graphics. For the best results, especially as a beginner, I recommend turning on these two settings here, ensures good design and enhance prompt. That's what I did before hitting enter. After about two minutes, it gave me an animation that looked ready for a championship game opener. The movements were clean, the pacing matched the style, and the transitions felt like something from an actual sports network. Next, I wanted to see how Hira handled a science-related animation. I gave it a prompt for a calm, slow-paced sequence showing the phases of the moon, with labels fading in and out, and a dark blue background. Again, I turned on these two settings here. Enhance Prompt is especially helpful because it adds details that you probably didn't even think about, like what each phase actually is in my moon cycle example. In a few seconds, it gave me exactly what I asked for. Smooth rotations, clear text, and subtle glows that made it feel polished without being over the top. This is the kind of thing that would normally require carefully timing multiple layers and manually aligning each label. Then, I tested Hera with animated data. I asked ChatGPT for statistics on the top five countries producing solar power in 2024. I took that list, uploaded it, and told Hera to create a horizontal bar chart animation highlighting China in gold and adding a subtle gradient background. It generated a clean, professional-looking chart with each bar animating into place in order. The emphasis on the highlighted country was clear, without distracting from the rest of the data. I also explored the template library. There's a wide range of designs, such as animated countdowns, infographic layouts, text reveal sequences, and more. I picked a data infographic template, swapped in my own text and icons, and changed the background to a gradient I use for my channel branding. In under a minute, I had a finished piece that matched my style. In another test, I created a 20-second animated weather forecast. I uploaded icons for sun, clouds, and rain, and told Hera to animate them alongside a five-day forecast layout with temperatures. The result was something you could put straight into a news broadcast. Everything was aligned, timed, and styled consistently. I also asked Hera for a quick intro for a food review channel. I described a sequence with a fork and knife crossing over a plate, text revealing underneath, and a light bounce effect. It produced exactly that in under a minute. Now, when it comes to exporting, 
you can pick the resolution from 360 pixels to 4K, with or without background. This is especially useful if you want a transparent animation to overlay onto another video. You set the file format and frame rate, hit export, and the file is ready to download in seconds. From starting the idea to having the final file, most projects took me less time than it usually takes just to prepare an After Effects composition. These are all the kinds of animations I'd normally avoid making unless I had to, because of the time investment. Hera makes them possible, without eating into the rest of the project schedule. You're not stuck redoing animations when you or a client changes a word or a color. You can just type in the change and regenerate. The best part is how Hera removes the barrier to trying new ideas. Normally, you might skip adding a particular effect because you know it will take too long to build and tweak. With Hera, you can try it, see if it works, and adjust without losing hours. It makes experimenting painless, and that changes the way you approach creative work. Learning it takes almost no time. If you can describe what you want in a sentence or two, you can use it. That's a huge change from the steep learning curve of traditional animation software. It lets you focus on ideas, rather than the mechanics of building them, for my workflow, it's not replacing After Effects entirely, but it's taking over a lot of the smaller animations that would have taken far too much time before. And because it's so quick, I'm experimenting with styles I'd never normally have the time to test. Here also works for a wide variety of projects. You could make explainer videos, channel intros, product showcases, data breakdowns, educational graphics, or travel visuals without switching tools. It's not just for professionals. A small business owner can use it for quick promos. A teacher can make simple, clean animations for lessons. A freelancer can deliver more options to clients in less time. You can save templates you've made for future projects or use public templates from the growing community. If you work with motion graphics, whether for YouTube, client projects, or your own brand, it's worth trying. You'll spend less time fighting with keyframes and more time actually making content. And you might find yourself making animations you would have written off before as too time consuming. What kind of animations will you be testing out with Hera? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe while you're there.